People are calling Aisha Curry a hypocrite again. This time it's because she posted a nude photo. Let's dive in. Hey guys, it's Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. There are tweets circulating around the internet that will haunt Aisha Curry forever. You guys probably remember them. Back in December 2015, Aisha tweeted, Everyone's into barely wearing clothes these days, huh? Not my style. I like to keep the good stuff covered up for the one who matters. And she followed that up by saying, just looking at the latest fashion trends, I'll take classy over trendy any day of the week. Her tweets came across as judgy and holier than thou, like she thought she was better than the women who decided to wear shorter shorts or tighter tops. Now people are bringing them back up again in response to a nude photo she shared. In the photo, you can tell that Aisha isn't wearing a shred of clothing, but she is pretty covered up. She captioned it from our sweet July body feature, so many natural wellness and skin remedies in this issue. Steph Curry got to pick the photo. Shins and shoulders, y'all, shins and shoulders. All right, well, I don't love that she had to kind of make this seem okay because her husband approved of it, but people were very complimentary in the comments, except for the few people who brought up those tweets from 2015. People went online and were saying things like, it's a lot of Aisha Curry's out there talking down on women for doing, wearing certain things, but deep down admiring the confidence those women have and waiting for the day they too can pull it off. Another person tweeted regarding Aisha Curry, growth requires some insight and acknowledgement that your previous position was wrong. If you use your platform as a public figure to slut shame women for lacking modesty and then one day you're just out here naked, you're a hypocrite. She's also on IG making it clear that her nudity is exceptional, husband approved, and she's only showing shoulders and shins like a good Christian woman. So I don't know where people are getting the idea that she changed her position from. Other people were defending the chef and restaurateur, saying things like, I mean, Aisha Curry was a conservative religious Christian girl who got married at 21 to her childhood sweetheart she met at 14 slash 15 at church and was a young mom. Of course, she was always going to struggle with respectability politics and modesty, etc. I don't get the dragging at all. She's clearly had more time since her kids have grown up to also grow and figure out her opinions and identity outside of her husband, kids, and religious upbringing. It's a very normal stage for women of her background. I think it's unfair to drag her without showing compassion for the context. And then another person wrote, that Aisha Curry tweet about wearing clothes cut y'all so deep that people still bring it up six years later. Well, Aisha has decided that it's time to clap back at the people who are criticizing her, so she was in her comments defending herself. After someone posted her tweet in the comments of her picture, she wrote, quote, when you realize I was talking about a person wearing nipple pasties leaving a Starbucks and thought it was hilarious, but no one cared to ask. Except people have been asking for years. Another asked, is this the same person that was telling women to cover up a few years ago? And she wrote back, never said that. I think the biggest problem here is that Aisha never really issued a formal statement acknowledging those tweets from 2015. Yes, a lot of time has passed and I truly believe that people can become enlightened. And I honestly think that Aisha probably has. But the fact that she refuses to say anything substantial about the messages that she put out in 2015 kind of makes me wonder if she really did change her tune. What do you guys think about all of this though? Are people making too big a deal out of her posts? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble and I'll see you later.